Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first up, it's a pin. Yeah. This is um, the pin that went out with the Ada Box Two. Yeah. So you can't get it. So it's actually kind of mean that we're putting it in a store, but I don't know. Maybe people want to know which what the product ID was so they can reference it. Um, like if you didn't get the pin, you would tell us, you know, this is the PID and we'd be able to send you a new one because you, you didn't get your Ada Box 2 or it was damaged or something. Anyways, we have this pin. It's lovely. It's a little Ada Bot and it's like silver with like a blacky uh, epoxy fill. A really beautiful pin. Um, if you're jealous and you want pins like this, sign up for Ada Box. Ada Box 3 will be going out a um, couple months and it will come with another custom pin. Can't tell you what it is, the secret but again, not available any other way. Okay, next up, it's a little caster thing. It, well, it looks like caster was actually the button. Yeah. These are uh, round top tactile buttons and they're like so much more satisfying than you think. So I think what these are originally for are, if you have an actuator that isn't like perfectly flat or isn't at a perfect angle, like usually you have a flat top of the button and you just press down on it. But if you have an actuator that's coming in an angle, you can use these buttons, but they also just look really cool um, and uh, they're really satisfying. I can show them on the overhead. Okay. Yeah, they're super clicky. I was going to show these nice photos. You can also show these nice photos. Clicky. Yeah, they're Click. breadboard friendly. They, they're a standard like six millimeter size, basically. Yeah. So you can use them wherever your six millimeter. Do they buttons. make? By the way, do they make ball casters this size? If I, if I, they just look like that though. This this is basically what a ball caster would be at that size. Yeah. But no, no, I haven't seen one this small. Because it's, it's not heavy enough for it to roll. Well, it would, you know, yeah. you'd have to have it not pressed down. You'd have to fill it with yeah. something to make it move around. But anyways, it's got this rounded top. Um, it's very clicky. They fit into breadboards very easily. Um, they look really neat, and uh, they feel really good. Uh, so they're kind of, like, fancy. I mean, we still stock, like, the standard buttons, but these are fancy style for when you want to go fancy. Yeah. And the button, the, the ball doesn't. Oh, it does roll. It feels like it rolls, but it doesn't. Oh, it feels like it rolls, but it doesn't. No. That's, that's why I said caster. Right? I was like, I, I wonder no, if they it's, it's, it's just like the, the actuator is just round. Yeah, it feels like it does. But, you know, you can, so you can hit it from the side. Yeah. So, you know, it, it just has this, that's what it's designed for when you, when you have an angle actuator, but they just, like, look really neat. Yeah. So these are cool. I like these buttons. This is my fidget toy. No, I'm yeah, this is. I'm just going to do this. Let's get some, let's get some press clicking this. action. I'm going to okay. demonstrate the clicking. That's what this sounds like. Satisfying. Yeah. Okay. Very satisfying. Next up, speakers. Single speaker. Speaker. Um, we actually have been selling this as a double pack, but um, as stereo speakers and like for our stereo bonnet and for other devices that uh, have, you know, stereo output. But, you know, these are actually really nice little uh, enclosed speakers. They're like laptop speakers because they're in a box. And so... Um, they have a good, they have a better sound, a very compact or easy to mount because they have mounting holes and they have a JST cable on them. Um, so in, in addition to having the stereo set, we also have the mono set. It's pretty much it. It's just like the, uh, four ohm, three watt speaker. So it's really loud. Okay. And we just added this right before the show. Yep. This is a new, uh, product from Esperino. They finished their Kickstarter. And so they sent us a bunch of these uh puck js and so this is um esperino it's javascript so just like we have circuit python that's python there's esperino which is an embedded javascript in this case it's running on nrf 52 823 which is the latest version of um, nordic bluetooth chipset it's a cortex m4 processor with a ton of ram I think like 64k of ram uh, 512k of flash um, that little module is fccc certified and uh, he also adds an accelerometer rgb leds uh, I think a light sensor, temperature sensor, a couple other things. All runs off a coin cell. You know, that, that, that Bluetooth low energy chip is really low yeah. power. So you get JavaScript, Bluetooth, you can like connect to it and, and um, uh, over Bluetooth and send it commands and program it. It's just really, it's really adorable. It's never been a better time to learn electronics. Yeah. Okay, next up. And it comes in this great little case. And oh, you know what? Maybe I'll show. Can, tonight, can you mind if I show that on the overhead? Yeah, let's go to the let's, overhead. Let's go back. I'm sure. Okay. Because I want to show how, how small and cute yeah. it is. So it comes in this like rubbery case, and um, this is a little reset button, and this is a CR2032 uh, battery, and then um, yeah, there's a magnetometer, accelerometer, maybe I don't know, uh, IR receiver, I guess, maybe IR transmitter, uh, red, green, blue LEDs. Maybe a thermistor here. 
Um, and yeah, this is the, uh, the Nordic NRF uh, chipset. It's FCC certified. It has a couple of breakouts as well. But it's just like a really small, cute little thing. It even has um, a great little case. So super nice. So okay. check it out. All right. And then tonight, the star of the show, besides you, eyes. Eyes. <coughs> this is the eyes bonnet for Raspberry Pi. It's weird. Um, so this is a Philby creation. Uh, so we did the, the Teensy Eyes project, which was uh, a, a Teensy 3.2 with a TFT or an OLED. And it could have like a kind of a basic animated eye and you'd have to like convert the data into like a certain file format. It was kind of a pain. So he decided like, well, there's people who want to have two eyes and maybe you want to have like really good OpenGL shading. And, um, you know, you want to update the image of the eye much easier. You don't want to have to convert the file. So he basically ported it to Python and OpenGL and it runs on a Raspberry Pi. We actually suggest a Pi 3. Even the photo shows a Pi 0. A Pi 3 is the, the best. You'll get the best shading. And then you can use either two TFTs, as shown here, or we can use two OLEDs. We'll get some photo and video of OLEDs later. Um, we just got to the TFT for now. Uh, the TFTs are less expensive, but they're not as high contrast, and um, the angle the, the angle of, view, of viewability is, is not as great. But, you know, you can use either one, decide which one. You also, of course, use only one eye, but, of course, if you get two eyes, then there's two eyes. Yeah. And then the... You could um, do a Cyclops. You could do a Pirate. Yeah, so he actually has two SPI ports going. He uses a secret uh, SPI port available on the Raspberry Pi that's like super secret, and he uses that to control each one of them um, with DMA independently. And on top of that, there's a um, analog digital converter and some breakouts. So if you want to use like a joystick um, or a light sensor, you can use a joystick to change the direction of the eyes. The pupil will get smaller. Yeah, the pupil with will the, dilate. Yeah, I don't have cool. that demo set up. Yeah. But I okay, do you want to show this? Demo. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll go to the overhead. Basic demo. Um, so here is, uh, I'm going to have this go up Yeah. Okay. and then I'm going to auto focus it. Yeah. Thanks. So this is the Raspberry Pi three and this is the bonnet and it's, um, built up here and then we have short cables. You can use longer cables if you want to embed this in something. And then, uh, here are the eyes and, um, they're just like super creepy. And then if you put a round lens on them, it kind of looks like an eyeball. Yeah. If you watch the show and tell Phil B showed these off and he has those round. So you can change the eyes. Are these like human eyes, but you can change them to be like robot eyes or like goat eyes or demon eyes or dragon eyes or wolf eyes or whatever you want. Um, and this basically adds, it, it, it's surprising, it adds a lot of uh, realism to cosplay props or like Halloween um, spooky eye things or if you're doing animatronics or robotics. Um, having these rendered eyes will make your robot or toy or prop or mask look uh, really creepy and really cool because it's, it's an unusual thing to see. Um, very, they're pretty realistic for like LED eyes, um, much better than having just like an individual LED. And um, yeah, we'll have the OLED, the OLED version has better contrast. So you can see like as you, as you angle it, the contrast isn't as good on the TFT, but it's a lower cost version. If you're, people are only looking head on, um, it looks pretty good. And uh, will it work on a Pi Zero? It will work on a Pi Zero, but it's not um, a smooth animation. It's, it's kind of jumpy, and so we don't suggest it. We're gonna try to optimize the code to work on a Pi Zero, but for best results, like a Pi okay. 3 or a Pi 2 will really get you the performance. Can they be controlled independently easily? Uh, I believe so. Check the tutorial because there's code for um, each one. They, they actually are on separate SPI ports. So um, even though they're like mirrored right now, kind of, they don't have to be. I think they can be controlled individually. Okay. All right. Like you can see, they don't, they're not actually completely identical. Like, especially when they look to the side, there is a little bit of a difference in the way they look. So you can control the pupil direction with a joystick and we'll get that, we'll get that demo going maybe for yeah. next week. Um, and change the pupil diameter and a couple other things. Yeah, it just reminds me of the scene I think in Robocop 2 when the brain gets taken out of the guy. Anyways. Yeah, so you can use yourself. Yeah, okay. All right, and with that, Lady Ada is. Do, 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 do. That was new products. Yay! You did it. Good work. Yay.